Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Little Rabbit. We are on Mega Space in the iTunes server doing some tandem practice for ECA round two at Mega Space. So we are switched to sequential, so I do not miss shifts when you're adding on the map. Trying to chase a daddy. Run into some leads and chase tonight. Trying to get more comfortable for some time here. Adding a little bit of a whoop <laughs> was killing me. A little bit of bobble, but a very solid lead nonetheless. So we're just doing more and more runs here, trying to get more and more comfortable because, like I said, I'm qualifying tonight. So that is what I've really been focusing on. So we're gonna get a, get a lead on Eddie right now, so we can run almost like our qualifying run. Now, now we're gonna switch up. So. I get some tandem practice in as well as I get some lead practice in, so it's definitely a very good time right now. Our flick injury could have gotten the angle a little bit faster. Judges going through what they want to see from qualifying. They want to see, you know, obviously quick snap angle, no angle to kind of like that. So definitely need to manage how aggressive I want to be versus my angle. Because if I throw too much angle off of it, then I have to throw angle out and I'm going to get points. But if I don't throw enough angle and I kind of slow to angle, my rate of angle speed is not that fast. So unfortunately, at that point, I will also lose points for my rate team. So it's, you know, very tricky qualifying, you know, in this track. It's got to be some quick, snappy transition. So we're going to get a, we're going to do another solo run here. Let these, uh, these guys go, Addy and Zach, go up ahead. That massive E10 in Eddie's R34 is so loud. down the hill. That was a pretty good rate to angle all other than getting in the grass. We would have lost some points to definitely get that grass. Didn't get into the zone as soon as I wanted to. We managed to stay in it. A little bit of foot break. Don't want to be off throttle as much because we need to be able to like, kind of like that snap angle right there. That was pretty much perfect on that zone. Snap angle, stayed in angle, and managed to, and was able to hold that same angle to the longevity of that turn. This is just a very tricky section. You gotta make sure you go wide enough so that you can come in and bring it back. Otherwise, you have a bit of an issue. So we're gonna wait for somebody to come back to pit so we can actually get maybe another chase run. So definitely feeling a little more confident in the car. Like I said, I've switched it to sequential, so we just have it banging through the gears now instead of just having some shifting issues. We don't want to cause any mischiefs in the actual competition. So we're on dog rush, but this car does have dog box shifting. So it's definitely a good thing to have anyways. <laughs> we get a chance to follow Zach here. Yeah, he's coming behind us. Kind of in that part. 
but overall not a bad overall run chasing down a little bit of a bobble here and there but not overall too bad so definitely like i said way more comfortable in this car a lot more settled and you know definitely a great great time to have a good group of guys like this that i can just hop in and just stand for the track you know i stand in and I'm very great guys so we're gonna give a lead to this massively fast wiper Viper is so gripped up. Price is probably going to have a hard time falling behind you. That was actually a decent entry. He said, I cannot see where I'm going. I guess it's good judging for when I'm in chase. You can see the Viper surging on me. Oh, man, he's... Oh, my lord. Oh, 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 oh no, save it. A little bit of a bomb on the wall. We're good. Oh, Eddie's dying? I think Eddie was dying. He's flying through the sky. Um, how'd he die? So, like I said, qualifying for me is tonight. Oh, Eddie sent it. Qualifying for me is tonight, so we're going to be qualifying in a late bracket, so we'll have some time to get a little more uh, practice in, uh, but we are in a late bracket, so that's good for some practice and some cooldown time. Don't want to overdo myself with practice. So we're going to try and chase it like we probably, we're going to probably have to cut a lot of people off in order to try and catch this up Viper. Or he'll send it. <laughs> go for a try that one again. Let's see how fast he just pulls up the hill. I just, it's insane how much grip that car has. It's on 285s too. It's definitely insane to see that amount of grip. Chase on Zach and that 400Z, definitely an amazing looking car. Okay, the match is entry, we kind of got lost a little bit. I'm gonna try and catch back up. Zach kind of in the door, sacrifice a little bit of line. A little bit of angle to catch up for proximity. There we go. Nice and solid in the chase. Like I said, this is ooh, <laughs> great practice for me to be able to do these runs with these guys and drive with people I've never driven before, especially in these cars. So even though I'm only running qualifying tomorrow, this is going to help me a lot because, like I said, I get to run qualifying, lead runs, and I get to run chases. So I get the best of both worlds when you're in lobbies like this. So now we're going to try and run off the perfect lead. Did not get all the way out to that zone like I wanted to. <laughs> nice chase by Zach just creeping in on my door like that. Definitely uh, some solid practice for this. I can't thank these guys enough. I tandem. 
OTM and all the other guys from all the other teams can help me out, you know, getting this car dialed in on a setup and, you know, just able to be able to throw down right now and have a good time. So we're going to get a chase here on Froze. <laughs> smoke that I have going on on my screen, maybe to turn my smoke down. I know a couple people come on my video saying a lot of people don't want smoke, and I'm noticing I probably see why I cannot see, especially on this downhill track, some of the lines are gone. And I'm just going pretty much off muscle memory, which, you know, FD drivers do the same thing. Ah, oh, big bubble by me. But I think my bobble counteracts his bobble, so that would be a pretty even lead for his chase. This is going to be a fun round. I cannot wait for the round of 32 and everything. I will leave the link where you can watch it down in the description box below if you guys want to watch the you know, Mega Speed Championship on Saturday. Ooh, round two here at Mega Space. I think we're going to try and give Addy a good lead here to end this episode off. Like I said, big thank you to all the guys at iTandem and all the other teams that helped me out in this process of ESDA. Oh, I had a glitch in my game. That was a bit of a glitch. I kind of flubbed that. And he was probably wow, confused on what's happening. Oh, that was a good glitch. Hope that doesn't happen. Qualifying. Oh, yeah, there it was again. <laughs> I think somebody may have joined this. So I think that'll do for this episode. Here on a set of Corsa, some tandem practice and some lead practice. It's like we're getting a little bit of lag and we got a bit of a ping spike. So. Big thank you to all of them, and big thank you to you guys. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll leave the link in the description on where you can come to watch ESDA Round 2 at Mega Space. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.